So what's going on YouTube? I figured I might as well start my first review for all the NES games that I'm going to do. And since the NHL is still locked out, and it is, well, it should be hockey season right now, I figure why not start with Blades of Steel, some intense hockey action. So, if you don't know my criteria is for rating games and whatnot, go check out the other video, I'll post a link down below. But, my first question for one point, is this game fun? Yeah, I actually have a lot of fun playing this game. Really not much to say other than that, it's, it's just a simple hockey game, so it gets one point. The only thing that I would really... Yeah, it just gets one point, I'll leave it at that. So next question, does it control well? I found for the most part that the game is fairly smooth with the controls, as well as, yeah. I just found that the game was really smooth. Is the music good? Of course the music is good. It's by Konami. Konami never, never makes a bad NES soundtrack so far for the one game I reviewed. Okay, so the music is good. I enjoy it. <laughs> Next, does it want to make me play it for more than 15 minutes? Well, that's kind of a tough question because each game is only about 15 minutes anyway. But yeah, I mean, I'd, I'll play it and I'll play it again. I mean, if I had a bunch of people over here, I'd have a Blade to Steel tournament for all I care. Like, I think that'd be pretty fun. Next, are the graphics good? Well, I guess I, I guess I could say that the graphics are fairly decent in this game. I mean, the hockey players look like they're supposed to, and the goalie looks like he's supposed to, and everything looks like it's supposed to, so I figure that that would be what I would consider to be quote-unquote good graphics, right? Next question, can you play it without the manual or the internet? Now this is a huge one for me. I really, really, really hate games that you can't just pop in and play. But with Blades of Steel, it's just simple. You move, you pass, you shoot, you have two buttons, and it's pretty easy to figure out when you get into fights in the game, which happens every now and then. Um, it's just one button blocks and you can either hit high or low and that's pretty simple. I didn't get to do any shootout stuff, but um, from what I remember, it's pretty straightforward, so it's not really that big of a deal. Next question. If it's over an hour long, can I save? Well, I don't really need to save for this game, because it's kind of... It's really arcadey. Like, you just play your, your round and that's it. Or you can do a little tournament. And I'm, I'm sure the tournament itself wouldn't even take an hour. Like, it's not a very long game at all, so the game gets full points for that. So, does it have cheap AI or level design? Um, I wouldn't say that this game has cheap AI or level design, but um, I docked it half a point for one thing that really, really annoyed me while I was playing, which is I find that you have to control the goalie as well as your player, which is, which is okay in theory, but when the puck is on your end, you have to control the goalie when other people or when the people are in control of the puck, but at the same time, you have to control your players to go get the puck away from them. So I find most of the time, I'm not getting the puck because the AI doesn't do anything, and I'm just kind of trying to defend in the goal because I'm standing around, well, all my players are standing around doing absolutely nothing while I'm defending everything and I can't do anything about it because I have to control the goalie and the player and that drives me right up the wall. <laughs> so on to the next point, is the game fun to figure out? I actually found it pretty easy to figure out so there's not much figuring to do so that game, so that gets full points for that. Next is the cover art or cover box art appealing? Yes, it's it's hockey, and you get exactly what you expect. You see guys playing hockey, and you, you put in the game, and you play some hockey. That's that's pretty straightforward, in my opinion. Um, next, is the game box deceiving or true, like the description on the back? Well, let's take a look at what it says here. So, fight for victory in the hottest hockey game on ice. With sharpened blades and a lethal stick, you slash into a rink surrounded by thousands of screaming fans. It's time for full speed, high contact hockey. The kind of bone jarring action played by the pros. The puck is dropped, you take control, center, and whoa! 
Your opponent viciously checks you from behind, making an incredible steal. You charge after him, crushing him against the board. Suddenly, tempers flare. Off come the gloves, and you are swinging fist like a prize fighter. What action! You can even rack up the assists like the great you know who. Or play goalie in slap shop. Wait, slap shooting penalty scenes. So strap on blades of steel and imagine those immortal words. He shoots, he scores! So, yes, yes, that is a, a pretty accurate description of how the game works. Um, next, is it fun for the age group? Um, so, when this game came out, I, I was pretty young, but even as, as a young kid, I, I really enjoyed playing this game with a couple of my friends, so I would definitely say that I think that kids who are 12, or, well, 10 to 12, would have pretty decent fun with this game, and it would be something you could play with your friends every now and then. And the biggest question is, is it fun for now? Um, I found it to be pretty fun. So, I mean, besides for that minor gripe about the goalie, the game is not too bad. So. Overall, I give this game an 8 out of 10, or 8 out of 10 without my voice cracking. And my final verdict is I will have to leave this one up for further review if I want to keep it. Because, I mean, I did have fun with it. I want to play around with it a bit more, talk about two-player, and we'll do that in a later review. But anyway, thanks for checking out my first review out of many, many that I'm going to be doing since there's about 790 Nintendo games total. Um, thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.